were asked if we were interested in making the music for this film uh, from Memento Mori when Jean, the director, turns out he's a big fan of the music, like he's known about the band for a while and I think he'd been using our, some of our old music as an inspiration, kind of looking at different parts of the film and how it could fit within his film and also look at our character of our music and a lot of the kind of contrast within that music and how that could relate to what he was working on. We've done a, a film score in the past but it was a different situation where we were performing live with the movie so actually writing some music to, to order for a specific scene or, or to fit a mood is something that we've, we've wanted to try for a while and, and so um, when Jean asked us and we liked the sound of the project and the film sounded great so we thought why not give it a shot. Obviously Miles Davis is really famous with the scores that he did in Europe and you know that has like huge implications for the whole history of jazz and, and you know the reasons why so many jazz musicians moved to Europe at that time politically. And, and it's also such an iconic sound, you know, obviously like that George Russell, Bill Evans approach which um, Miles Davis took on a really suited film and I think it, you know, it's, it's a big part of French culture as well, isn't it, to have, to have that. I know that they, they just improvised with the, the movie in front of them. I think there were times like that where me and Chris got together and we had some ideas about certain scenes and what could work and we worked through some bits but largely it was like oh, I've got this idea and then bringing it to the band sort of individually. We want to use our strengths and you know one of the influences that we've taken is um, electronic music you know that's a bigger influence probably than most other influences in our music and electronic music is often very planned and very meticulous and very well thought out and composed so improvisation plays a role but it plays a role alongside all these other things Vous avez un problème? Ah oui, j'ai un problème. Vous polluez l'eau et après on peut plus la boire. Vous me donnez envie de chialer. Well, the first thing was that we got sent the the reels for the film and we we looked at the script and you know, I can speak a little bit of French. It's not like, you know, I'm still a beginner, but understand parts of the script and we wanted to get a sense of the film and we, we spoke to Jean about what exactly he wanted. Um, and he was really open um, about our approach and how we interpreted the pieces. forest where it's very much a bass led thing and it feel in this sort of really earthy organic sort of and quite strange um, ethereal sort of mood to it so it, it was very bass led and the piano is just doing a very sort of light strange thing a textural thing in the background and then there's other pieces which are very much like written at the piano by Chris and we're just um, you know, supporting that and it's whatever fit, fitted the particular mood but we, we really wanted to get inside what each scene was, was meaning and what uh, the best way to interpret it musically was. At times there were moments where it really did feel nice to kind of line up with something very specific, maybe a scene change or maybe some sort of motion or movement. I remember there's one scene in particular where we kept trying to find a place where this music would start and it was looking at the way that Anna would breathe and the way that she would kind of, you know, take a breath in and breathe out. And I remember thinking it was a bit like when I used to do a lot of classical music and accompany other musicians where before they'd even played a note, it was the way they moved and the way they breathed and the way that they were feeling before they even started to, to make a sound on their instrument. Anna. Milan. 
the music's job in this film really feels like it's supporting all of that. It's supporting and reinforcing the some of the things that maybe you don't quite see just presented to you by the film. It's things that are maybe a bit more underlying in the background or subconscious. And you know, we want to kind of help the viewers to to feel that and to see that at the same time as as watching the film. Il va falloir que tu fasses les choses toute seule maintenant. Toute seule. The way everything worked out and the way Jean was quite hands off really, he was very specific about telling us where music needed to happen and, and the certain guides, but gave us some, uh, quite a lot of freedom that possibly some directors wouldn't do in the future. I think it was a really nice introduction for us and it was kind of good for me because um, I can look at the script and uh, watch the film and it's kind of improving my French and, and the thought of the music, our music could be in there as well, it's really exciting. It's very current, you know, there, you see people wearing masks and some of the notices about Covid, it's definitely of this moment right now and you know there's a really fascinating story with what's happened between uh, you know uh, Philippe and his past but then also this created story that Jean's brought to that which is Philippe and Anna and their interaction and um, it's something new for us to do it's a new way of thinking and a new way of writing and a new way of working together and you know I think it's uh, it's been really exciting to do that and really enjoyable definitely